We have all been waiting for Alex and Martin live from Art University in Finland. Please, you have the floor. Yeah, hello, hello. everybody. Um, Martin and I, we went together to Helsinki in Finland. We arrived in January and now we are here since a few months. And I have prepared a little presentation. I hope it works. Can you see it? Yes, we can see it. Okay. Um, so, Alto University is um, actually it's not in Helsinki, but in a little city next to Helsinki. Um, I hope you can hear me. We have a construction site. construction site next to us, but yeah. So before we came here, we didn't know much about Finland and not much about the students' culture here, but we were really um, impressed, positively impressed, because um, first of all, the campus here is of the Alto University, that is the technical university. The campus is amazing. Like it's, it's not, not like in Graz that um, there are many buildings in the city separately. But here's really one big campus where you have everything in one place. There, uh, there are learning centers, there are canteens where you can eat, there is even a subway station. And also many people live on the campus. So you really get that feeling of, uh, of living on the campus, um, partying on the campus and studying on the campus. You can also do sports here. And yeah, it was, it was really um, nice to see that that atmosphere here. Would yeah, that's something. No, yeah, actually, you see campaign. here a half of the uh, the half island. The whole is the campus. Everything happens here. Like really, you can the like the UCI sports is also here possible. You see maybe the football field or something. Events happen here. There's a big square next to the library where many events uh, are happening. So if you can stay on the campus. If you can get an accommodation there, basically uh, take, take it. it. Yeah, yeah. You, you can probably spend your whole um, whole Erasmus here on this campus, and you will always have to do some things. So I guess both of you are staying on campus on site. <laughs> <laughs> well, not. Not. Actually, we 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 didn't get an offer. Um, because it, it's difficult to get a, a place on the campus because the houses here are really um, yeah. They are rare and everybody wants to live here. So we have, we live in the city, which is also nice, but we always have to take the metro to get to the campus, which takes 20 minutes and it's not so much. But if you can get an ac accommodation on the campus, then really take it. So Maybe what's the price difference between a uh, flat that you have to take in the city and the on-site uh, housing on campus? Do you know that? It's, it's actually cheaper at the campus. Mm -hmm. uh, at the campus, a friend of us um, lives there for 300 a month. We pay um, 500 in the we, city. Yeah, but uh, at the campus, every uh, accommodation, he has to get his own furniture. Mm -hmm. yeah. We have like the bed, the table, chairs, and he has nothing, but it's only 300. It's, on it's, it's really cheap to live on the campus and you have everything there. Um, one other thing we wanted to mention is the canteens here. They are really, um, for students, they are amazing. We pay 2 euro 60, 2 euro 70 for a meal where you can basically get all you can eat with salad, with, with whatever you want. It's, it's amazing. Yeah, next point um, for our advertisement for Finland, the student's life. It's, it's crazy. It's not comparable to, to Austria or maybe Germany, because there are like every, um, the guilds, how do we explain them? Yeah, the guilds is maybe from from the uh, Thank you University in Graz. It's like more or less like a Zeichenzahl, if you maybe know them. But better. But way much better, way more organized. They make many events. Like here, you see at the right bottom uh, is a sit sit. This is an event where everybody uh, comes and Maybe it's it's like a dinner. You eat together and drink together. You sing songs together. Yeah, and then at the end you party together. Songs. Yeah, and singing songs. We also got the songbook. 
Um, and you can see the sauna on the bottom left. And yeah, many other events like on the top right, you build your own car. Like every guild has to build its own car and the best guild is winning. So it's, it's really, um, maybe some events are even one may say childish, but it's so funny because everybody um, is really passionate about them and you have so much fun here. It's, it's really nice. And maybe you have seen them. Uh, the, yeah, the overalls. Actually, I am wearing mine at the moment. Um, this is like really the thing you take home when you're coming back, uh, back from your Erasmus because here we sew on uh, patches like this one like that one yeah we got uh, different we got plenty plenty of them like whenever you visit a party you get a patch like that and then you sew that onto your overall so everybody can see wh what parties you have done which events you have done or also to which guild you um, belong because every guild has different overalls and yeah so that's also a major part of the of this student's life on this university. And then, of course, the nice things here is you can do so much um, activi um, other activities in the nature, like going to Lapland, where you can see the northern lights, you can do husky rides, you can do snowmobile rides. Um, what else can you do? We were fishing. Ice fishing, ice yeah, fishing. ice fishing. Yeah. And building igloos, sleeping in igloos and stuff like that. Then there's also the Lofoten trip. Or uh, <laughs> this was actually maybe the, the funniest trip we have done. It was the Pirates of the Baltic Sea trip, where you, you're basically um, going with a cruise ship full of students. We were 1,600 students from different universities around Finland, Sweden, East Estland, and Poland. And you do a cruise. So you get to see cities, but um, yeah, you also do a lot of party on the ship and it's, it's really, the events you can do here are amazing, amazing. Um, are these activities um, organized by a certain group or is that something that you have to apply for and look for yourself? Or is that something that is actually offered by the university? There is a big, um, how do the, uh, yeah, there's a big, a big difference if you're studying in the Helsinki University or at the Alto. In the Alto, when you are there, because basically all the technical students are there, uh, they are in the guilds that are really motivated to for you to bring this uh, to you. This all of these events you see on the picture here on the right, uh, our friends, the pink overall, the blue, and mine, the black one. We are all from the, uh, these three guilds, and all of these events, uh, they are organized. They are so organized we don't uh, do them by our own. They are organized by the guilds, but then they are also private, like um, to Lapland. We went with a private um, organization. It's called Time Travels. So they organize everything for you. But then there are also students prizes and trips all, only made for students where you um, only can sign up if you belong to this university. and. So in the end, it's a, it's a student's trip where you don't have to organize anything. And yeah, that's the nice thing. Oh, oh yeah. And this brings us more or less to the, the most important thing, Vapu. That's happening at the 1st of May, so this Sunday. And this is like the most uh, important event in the whole year for students. For Finland. <laughs> It's, it's a big party. It's where um, all the students party together because now more or less the studies are about to finish. So now everybody is in party mood and you, you can see this hat here on the left side and it's the goal of everybody, every student to get this hat. You have a point card? Oh, the point card, wait. Uh, wait, just tell the whole. It's like also part of this Finnish students culture is like you have to do many activities throughout the year. And at the end of the year at Vapu, at the 1st of May, we got like this point card. That's the panda with the decorative cap on. And there you have many points to fulfill. And once you reach out a certain amount or a mandatory points, you're allowed 
to get the techery cap, the thing on the left. Techery is like um, the technical student. And once you reach it, you are allowed to work. Um, at the moment, we are not allowed to work since we have to wait for the 1st of May. Midnight. Yeah, at the midnight, when it's getting to, to the 1st of May. And on the right hand side, you see here um, the capping. That's like a statue in the middle of Helsinki, where all students gather around in the day before 1st of May. And you see there's a big crane uh, hovering uh, students above it and they, and they put it on and then everybody is allowed to wear the cap. And that's a huge event. Yeah, that's like the biggest event here. And yeah. So um, to, to zusammenzufassen, <laughs> To wrap it up, yeah, um, the the students' life here it's it's completely different from Austria. It's um, much more about um, doing funny stuff, having fun, partying together, and the um, it's like this this students' organization. It's it's really nice. It's awesome. But then again, you also study in a awesome university with really nice courses, and so in the end, I was really positively. Um, well, yeah, uh, what we maybe also we could mention a little bit the university, um, how it's yes, I just wanted to ask, is there anything that you could tell us about courses? Is there a big difference between courses in at Alto Actually, and to Graz? Yes, there are, because um, yeah. like, so here, here it's like the whole year are five periods, two in the winter semester and three in the summer semester. So we are now in the period five, so the last one. And every period is like one and a half or two months. So a course is only in one period. It takes only one month or two months. And at the end of the month, there is this an exam or and, not. Or not. It's, I, I haven't written an exam at the moment and I already did uh, four courses. I would say uh, the, the courses are actually easier here than at Graz. Well, they, uh, they motivate you to, to participate in the course. So it's not uh, not hard to get through the course, but to get a good grade, you really have to be motivated and do a lot. Do, do the work. There, there's a, a lot of workload, but in the end, it's actually easier. But um, for me, it's it's a good system like that. Yeah, there's not one big exam at the end, but you always have to work and do your stuff. But yeah, you um, I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> So you could say it's more comparable to like a VU than a regular lecture or something like that, that there is constant work that you need to be doing. Mm. It, it's yes. still a university. Yes, it's, yes, but it's more like for most of them, for me at least, in my we are doing different type of masters. I'm doing the infrastructure master and he's like the uh, uh, structural, structural engineering. engineering. And I, for at least I can say it's more like uh, most of the time I have to do like um, homework once in a week for some of them and also a group work with others. But it's really many, many of those courses have group works. So uh, maybe it's only because we're in the masters and not in the bachelors, but yeah, most of it is, uh, is group works. Group works, yeah, yeah. Okay, great. Good to know. Um, is there like any anything that you would have liked to know before going abroad that you know now? Is there anything that you would like to say to future um, exchange students? Mm. Actually, not really. I what what I want to say really try it out. Um, I mean, we I didn't know much about Finland, and we just came here, and we are so positively surprised and it's amazing. Oh, I, I don't know if, if I really What's wanted it? something uh, to know before. Well, it's not necessary to take a Finnish course. No, Everybody finishes. Even, even the old uh, generation can speak English. But perfectly English. So you can Get so through. it's also easy to communicate with Finnish people and yes, yeah. there's no burden. 
we don't communicate yeah, much to Finnish people. I just also wanted to say yeah, it's, it's again this, this internationalist bubble. Um, I mean, we, we are a lot with the internationals and it's maybe it's also because of the Finnish population in general. They are not really, um, they are really um, nice. Nice. And if you ask them something, they help you. They're really speak perfectly English. But then again, um, <laughs> It's really difficult to get and maybe stay in contact and touch with Finnish people. So in general, it's for us, it's also this international problem. Okay. Yeah. So you could say it's, it's a bit tricky to get in touch with the local population, but the community of the international students makes, makes it good exactly. again. It's not difficult to get in touch, but difficult to stay in touch. <laughs> okay, good to know. Well, I would say thank you to both of you for taking the time for this presentation about Alto University in Finland.